Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and finally, there is a test, a blood test, that you can do to detect cancer in your doggy before they are sick or when they are sick, and it is revolutionizing the space. But we've never had this a solitary blood test we can do, and Onco Canine has changed that. What they're doing, guys, is they're using cell-free DNA. What that means is you have the DNA that's in the cells, right? And you may have a cancer cell, and this is what they're looking for in particular. And that cancer cell is holding its cancer DNA, and it's abnormal because it has cancer. And when the when the cell dies, it tears open, and all that DNA just bleh into circulation, just into the body. And that happens quite regularly as cells go through their life cycle. Even cancer cells can die. And as it circulates through the body, that DNA only lasts for a little bit of time, super little. And what Onco, Onco Canine has done is they have a special tube that allows that, that cell-free DNA to be preserved. Onco Canine is detecting the abnormal genomic cell-free DNA that's flowing through the dog's body that, as a veterinarian, guys, before this, I couldn't find that. And what they're doing is it can test for Catch this, this is crazy. 30, 30 different forms of cancer can be picked up by Onco Canine. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over the ones that are the most common and the ones that I'm looking for in particular. So check this out. We have, they are picking up things like lymphoma, osteosarcoma, hemangiosarcoma, histiocytic sarcoma, and guys, the list goes on and on and on, but those are the most common ones it picks up on. Now you're telling me, Dan, when are we gonna test for this stuff? How are we gonna do this? What, am I, what is my veterinarian gonna do? So your veterinarian guys can get an Onco Canine um, sample or, or the tubes or everything they need to get samples and they can order directly through Onco Canine or they can go through the different labs we use, like for example, like Antac for example. But you can go through the different labs and you can order it and then they can run it to see if your dog has a possible cancer. The way I want you to think about this is twofold, and this is the way I'm going to think about it. And your veterinarian may have their opinions, but two ideas, guys. Number one, your veterinarian could do a screening for cancer. And there's a couple different options for this when ordering Onco Canine. But if you, let's say you have a doggy who is more predisposed to cancer, and some doggies are, and I have a list here of all the different breeds of dogs and what they recommend testing and when they recommend testing. But if you're just worried, like, I have some anxiety because my previous boxer had cancer, will this boxer have cancer too? You can do a screening to see if your dog has any indication of cell-free DNA that is consistent with a tumor. So, or cancer, excuse me. So you can do that and you can just like say like, hey, I have a six-year-old boxer. She is super healthy, I believe, but you know what? I have some stress over this. I wanna make sure she's healthy. And you know what? I send it off to Onco Canine, it comes back normal. I can rest assured that my doggy does not have cancer currently. And you know what? I may do this test every six months or every year depending on my comfort level and what my veterinarian's thinking. Now the other option, which I think this option sounds super cool, and they you can do them both, of course, but I think this option sounds super cool, guys, is there are times in the veterinary world where I will do my workup and they, you need to do your workup still. You need to do your blood work, your CBC, your chemistry, your x-rays, your ultra. You need to work the pit up. And sometimes, guys, either we can't find cancer, but the lab work's telling me you might have it, or we may find something, but it's not super obvious, and it's buried in the body. Let's say it's on the spleen or the liver, and I just can't get a good idea. And the next step, guys, outside of ultrasounding, would be to do like an abdominal exploratory, which is incredibly incredibly invasive having to do surgery and if you need to you have to but it'd be cool if there was a test that we could do and that would allow us to diagnose cancer with just a blood sample and there is now so what this option would be is i do my workup and let's say guys let's say i have an older giant breed dog and i'm just worried about it and we have some lab work that's abnormal and let's say my ultrasound's a little bit funny let's say there's a spleen of some nodules on it and let's say it's a golden okay golden retriever we we could take that and we could we could run onco canine and it could come back and tell me yes we are seeing cell free dna which is consistent with hemangiosarcoma which would be super helpful for 
for a couple of reasons. One, we, we want to do surgery, of course. Like, we, we, we should do surgery to help the doggy live a happier, healthy life and remove the cancer. But also, guys, it'd be nice to know, walking into that surgery, that, hey, we think it's hemangiosarcoma and not just a benign bloody hematoma, and that's going to affect your outcome. So being able to diagnose the type of cancer through oncocanine, and then, of course, I mean, we still need to do our legwork to lock it up with other additional diagnostics and tests and samples and biopsies. But being able to have this test done can really put us on the right path to understanding expectation and what the next step may be. And of course, guys, I know we all have that stress and anxiety of like, what if I run this blood test and it comes back positive? Now, I'm just going to focus on the positive test today because the positive test is the one that if you get it back, there's a lot of anxiety and stress about what's next. And based on their different studies and tests, they have came out saying that the positive predictive value is 98% almost, which means if your dog is diagnosed with cancer through oncocanine, 98% of those doggies were, had a confirmed diagnosis of cancer through other methods to confirm the oncocanine diagnosis. I don't wanna say fortunately, but fortunately the test is right in, in almost all cases except for 2% as I kind of mentioned earlier. So if your dog is diagnosed with something, you can be confident in that diagnosis and that can allow you to take other steps that you need to take to uh, better support your doggy. And guys, this is how we go about doing it. So first guys, we're going to get a sample of blood from your doggy and your veterinarian will do this of course and they will have all the sample tube that you need. Um, and then multiple cancer coverage. So Uncle Canna can detect 30 different types of cancer including eight of the most common ones. And then KiteNet technology, Onco Canine uses state-of-the-art next-generation sequencing technology to detect uh, DNA that is indicated as cancer. Basically, guys, they're going to take that cell-free DNA that's abnormal and all the cell-free DNA, and they're going to multiply it so you have just a ton of it. And if you have cancer in there, it'll be very obvious.